Hundred million on my neck, Lou. Hey, you know what it is, fresh to death, all black. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm Batman. You know, men in black, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Harvard University grad. You know what I'm saying? Med school, Lou. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, look at them. Ooh, look at them. Ooh, look at them. Come on, 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 come on. Look at them. Oh, them stays. I got a little scuff on them, though, but I ain't worried about it. I graduated, baby. I graduated, baby. Four years, baby. I graduated. Ooh, look at him. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Look at my son. Look at my son. Come look at my son. He wanna use the bathroom because he's shitting on y'all. Damn. Oh, come look at my son, baby. Oh, look at my son. Look at my son. Oh, look at my son. Look at him. Look how fresh he is. Look, take out the suit on him, baby. Because you killing him with this. Take out the jacket. Take out the jacket. Let him know how you coming. Take out the jacket. Oh, look at my baby. Look at the camera, baby. Look at the camera. Oh, look at my baby. Look at my baby. Smile for him. Smile for him. You too fresh for him, baby. You too fresh for him. You too fresh for him. Yeah, y'all know what it is, though. Med school, Lou. Graduated, four years, man, football, all that. You know what I'm saying? We about to go into the graduation. We gotta take this picture. Come show them this way. See that right there? Y'all see that's where I'm about to go take my picture and stuff. Yeah, 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 it. One to ten, how good am I looking? A ten. I was thinking breaking the Ripter scale. Man, look at the graduation. It's kind of getting litty. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of getting litty. Yeah, dick. You know what I'm saying? It's getting packed. It's early, too. <laughs> it's like an hour before the graduation on moms. Yeah. Harvard graduate loop. Nah, I'm just playing. You know, it's to you. Yeah, dick. Blame. Blow. Yeah, dick. Just made it four years is all over now, man. I want to thank y'all for supporting me throughout my times of college. But I got some big videos for y'all, man. What we gonna do, man? Let me know if y'all still want that football reaction. Let me know what type of content y'all want now that I'm out of school, man. So I got a lot more options where I can do for y'all, man. So let me know in the comments, man. But we about to turn up right now, man. The night just beginning. It ain't even night yet. The damn, it's the it's about to begin. Though. I'm turned up. I'm lit. I got my shit. Yeah, dig, you know what I'm saying? Be low out. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Liddy activities after the graduation. Me and Dummy V going to flying T. I don't know if y'all can see that. The little golf course. I think it's called like Top Golf or some shit. Yeah, dig, you know what I'm saying? You know what we got to do, man? I'm about to kick her ass in this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm better golfer than hey, you. you know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Primitive, though, for that uh, goddamn that collab. You see that shit? Turn around this way. You see that collab though, that freeze? God damn, nigga. Hey, I've been shining on niggas all day today. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but we're going to keep getting lit on my mama. Y'all keep watching the vlog because it's Liddy Three Titties. We going up tonight. It's B-Lou graduation on my mama. Y'all better comment, spam it up. I love y'all. Keep supporting. Dami V, you got anything to say? I love y'all. Keep showing love. Wish Bishop a happy... Oh, wait, is it graduation? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You did. Yeah, oh yeah, my God! Look, I was just vlogging. Hey, what the fuck going on? Man, you did, dude. I watch your YouTube videos all the time. You and T, dude. I I DM'd you like the other day. I was like, yo, you need to do a meet and greet in Tulsa because I was bro, like, bro, we like need a... to do one, bro. We've been thinking about doing one. on God, we have. Dude, I didn't even know you were from Tulsa, and then I yeah. I, I peeped your Instagram. I was like, dang, he's from Tulsa. Bro, my mama, bro. bro. Good to meet you, bro. Yo, can I take a picture with you? Yeah, bro. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. I gotta keep my eyes on the ball, though. <laughs> Where did it go? That was boo. That was boo. Did they catch? They didn't even catch it. It went to the side. Where your ball at? They didn't even catch it. Put another one on there. No, nah, I said rough. <laughs> Does that mean I'm out? I don't know. I don't oh, I'm still off. I'm going to try this again. You got to hit it to the one. Oh man. Oh hell, I gotta give me a small one. I, give a small one. I thought that was the one you're supposed to hit. 
Oh, look, let me, oh, let me back up. Hold on, let me back up. Now, me B, what you got? Woo! Did he go that far? You gotta watch it, Dummy V. You gotta watch it. Boy! <laughs> Come on, Dummy V. There we go. Where'd they go? Oh, that mug went right there. Boy, look at, look, look at all of that. And then look at Dummy V ball. All of that. Dummy V ball. Oh, man, you know B. Lou got the ball. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what we're doing, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotta have the sauce, three sauces on deck. In the carrots. Got, got too many carrots on my neck, you know what I'm saying? Carrots on my neck like Bugs Bunny, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know we live in effect. Huh? Dami V, what you gonna do this time? Look at this girl. What you gonna do? Oh, not that one. Don't record that. Nah, I recorded it. You ain't getting out of that one. They gotta see the real. Don't hit me with the golf club, though. Okay, hater. I ain't no hater. Okay, hater. What you gonna do? Get all the way to the last flag. You said to the last flag? Yep. I have a request to the server so That's you can figure out what's going on. I'm really good at it. Huh? I thought she said she was bringing another beer anyway. And then I thought the tab. I was like, what happened to the tab? Because I, I wanted to stay for the wings. Oh, shit. <laughs> look, I got to get behind there. God damn. Look, over there, the swing that thing down reckless. Tonight, the family of a 24-year-old pregnant woman is mourning after a suspected drunk driver crashes into her. 25-year-old Gabriel Dennis is accused of manslaughter, expected to get a second charge for the baby's death. Channel 8's Lauren Partain spoke exclusively with the victim's family tonight. It's a story you'll see only on 8. The pain is unbearable. Going through pictures, Ariel Louie's family can't believe she's gone. He just barely thought of her life. Ariel's mom, Remissa, was one of the last people to see her daughter alive. We were all celebrating my nephew's uh, graduation. Um, she was going to go out and uh, uh, with the girls, <clears throat> with her sister and her cousin. And uh, she said, Mom, I'm going to go change clothes. And um, I said, okay. She thought Ariel made it home. I got a uh, knock on the door by uh, two police officers. They told me that she had been hit by a drunk driver and that she did not survive. Not something she ever expected to hear, especially since. I've been prepping and uh, uh, my baby's baby shower. She's six months pregnant. And, uh, she was having a little girl. At just 24, Ariel was studying to become a vet tech. Robert Poteet giving her a job at Cedarwood Vet Clinic. We loved her so much. Trying to remember the good times is hard. She had joked that we were going to miss her during her maternity leave. I had no idea that we were going to miss her this soon and for this long. Ariel's sister, Jalen, hopes their story will make people think. You make plans to go out, you can make plans about how you're getting home, just heartbreaking. Her parents, Dale and Remissa, won't let this be the end. Uh, speak out with that dare stuff. Yes, I want to keep her name alive. Hoping to save others from a loss. Hey, Lou, I'm gang, y'all know we ain't been posting like that, man. It's been a lot going on, man. I know y'all probably just seen the video clip, man. My uh, my first cousin passed away, man, in a car wreck. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of been down right now. So just send y'all prayers up for me. You know what I'm saying? Me and Dami V or whatever. Uh, it's a GoFundMe account below, man. If y'all can uh, help in any kind of way, you know what I'm saying? For uh, my family, that'll be cool, man. You ain't got to if you don't want to or nothing, but. So we're going to set it right now for at least like 2000 man. If y'all got anything that can help, we'll just do that. We'll start at 2000 man. If we can grow from there, that'll be perfect. Uh, but yeah, man, one thing I wanted to talk about, though, with y'all, man, is uh, like forgiveness, man. Because uh, me and my cousin, we had that ups and downs, man. In high school, we had went to this little, uh, little problem, man. Uh, it was just some some dry little petty shit man and i kind of kept i kind of kept it in you know what i'm saying for a long long time man since i've been in high school and i never really truly forgave her but as i'm reminiscing on the times that we spent 
that was me like being petty and I shouldn't and I and I like now I regret it cuz I ain't never get to truly forgive her that she gone now and I wish I could, you know what I'm saying? Uh like we were still cool but like it's just like in my heart like I never truly forgave her, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm working on as a person right now is like grudges, not holding no grudges with people, you know what I'm saying? And just being able to forgive, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's what I feel like, you know what I'm saying? People got to take like you got to take it and you got to learn from it. You got to learn lessons from it. You know what I'm saying? Like she was a great person. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? She's going to go to heaven 100%. You know what I'm saying? No doubt in my mind if she's not already there already. But it's just like as we living, we got to be able to like learn from, learn from things like this and be able to adjust the way I feel like God want us to live. And I feel like this is my lesson not forgiving her i gotta live with that right now you know what i'm saying and i gotta be able to say okay am i gonna keep holding grudges with people am i gonna be more like god and i'm gonna forgive you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm gonna work on myself you know what i'm saying i'm just talking about me man like i say if people if you don't like what i'm saying y'all if you don't rock with me that's why I, I made this channel for me because if you rock with me you're gonna rock with me and this is my thinking you know what i'm saying so i feel like we just got to be positive, keep moving forward, man. But also, we just got to be forgiving, man. I feel like, and then your family, embrace your family, man. If you just just try to, one week, you know what I'm saying, just call somebody, man. Just just to say what's up, man. Just tap in FaceTime or something, bro. Because honestly, I ain't I didn't get to talk to my cousin for a while, man. And just for her, to, I was really expecting, because my graduation, I was really expecting to see her, man. And, and, and it hurt my heart because I was expecting her, but then it like it didn't happen and then like just know that she that she had passed from the car wreck and how it happened you know what I'm saying she was six months pregnant I never I never seen her. like it, it's just crazy man so y'all just man y'all embrace y'all families man I'm just trying to spit a positive message man before you know what I'm saying I, we start taking off I just wanted to say this man the, I love y'all man like the video and man that GoFundMe gonna be down below man uh yeah man all prayers is needed uh pray for Dami V man and everything like that man we all need it uh, man, just make sure y'all trying to do better each and every day, man. Y'all wake up, man. Have that mindset just to be great, man. And just embrace your family, man. You know, call your people up, your cousins, mamas, aunties, all that, papas, man. And just, just say what's up, man. Even if, even if y'all had some problems and y'all ain't really, man, be the bigger person, man. And just love them, man. Because at the end of the day, man, you will, you will never know. You will never know. And that's how I'm feeling right now, man. I'm down. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, man, so that's it. that's it, man. I just wanted to say that, you know what I'm saying, get that off my heart, off my chest, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never with that fake shit, man, so that's why I wanted to really say, like, you know what I'm saying, I, I was close with my cousin, but then we had that little problem, and it was kind of like, bam, but I just never, I never let her back in, you know what I'm saying, and that was, and that's, that's me, you know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna take that, but I love her, though, today, I wish, I, I swear, I wish I could take it back, and I wish I could sit down with her and be like, man, fuck all that shit, we should just need to keep moving, you know what I'm saying, but she was, but it was me, though, you know what I'm saying, uh, but that's what I said, I'm gonna I'm I'm take mine, I'm gonna I'm adjust, you know what I'm saying, I love her, I know she in heaven, God got her, she gonna spread her wings and fly, she gonna look over me, you know what I'm saying, because she was always there for me, and, uh, yeah, I mean, y'all just send y'all prayers up, do what y'all can to go for me, if y'all, uh, if y'all can, man, it ain't no mandatory nothing. I just, if y'all can, man, on me, you know, everything helps, man. So, uh, love y'all, man, and I'm out, man.